What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris Moore and in today's video we got a first boys. Yeah, that's right. We got the first time on the channel a Suzuki Katana. Now this is not any old Katana. In other words, Katanas have been around forever. Actually since about 1982 is when the very first one of these came out. But this is a 2020 model, brand new bike and it's redesigned to look like the retro Katana. Check this thing out. This is the first time we've had one of these on the channel. It is all bone stock condition right now, but we're about to change that. We're about to go in, install some performance parts, put it on the dyno, remove all the restrictions from the ECU and see what kind of power we can get out of this thing and what kind of sound as well. Stay with us guys, here we go. Before we get into tearing this thing apart, we gotta fire it up, see what it sounds like in its current condition to see how much better the parts we made it sound and perform. Now, we're not gonna get to put it on the dyno because we have a limited amount of time. This customer came all the way from Kansas, over a thousand miles away to be with us here in South Carolina and to get this work performed. He is a fellow YouTuber as well. Go and check out his account, Cycletron. Cycle. T-R-O-N, all one word. Subscribe to his channel. He's got about 2,000 subscribers now. We're gonna boost him up. Oh, and go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to my channel because we're almost at 100,000 subscribers, boys. Yeah, here we go with the new Katana, with the new parts. We're gonna be installing a Brox Performance pentacarbon exhaust system, Vortex front and rear sprockets, and a Sprint F-185 air filter. This is the full headers and everything. All this stuff is going on. Every piece of the exhaust from here all the way back will be getting replaced. Let's fire this thing up, see how it sounds. It has 3,000 miles on the bike now, so it's fully broke in, but super, super quiet. but it's time to get this thing tore apart. All right, so as you can see, we got this thing tore apart. We got the tank off. We've taken the air filter out to replace the air filter. I wanted to show you one thing we got going on here. So that's the stock air filter. We're getting rid of that, but look at this air box restrictor. So coming in under here is actually where your air intake tubes are. In other words, the air comes in there and then Look at how restricted this hole is. So we're gonna open all this up. You got one, two, three, four, five, six screws that we're gonna remove. We're gonna remove those screws. We're gonna install the Sprint air filter and get a good bit more power out of this thing. I think that's gonna open up and make a huge difference on this. The exhaust is going on next. And just like that, the exhaust system is off. This thing is crazy, crazy heavy. I'm gonna say a good solid 35 pounds. Now we're putting this aftermarket exhaust system. It is much, much lighter. One of the things you wanna be sure you're doing if you're putting your exhaust system on yourself is replace the exhaust gaskets. This is a one-time use gasket. Once these things are crushed and tightened down, they're essentially trash after that, okay? So when you go to do your new exhaust system, be sure you put new gaskets. Also be sure if you do a Brox Performance exhaust system that you use the orange copper coating that they send with that. That stuff is very, very important. They didn't just send it because they wanted you to have extra junk in the box. They sent that stuff because it is a must. It is very important that you coat all your headers. As you can see, we got the rest of this stuff buttoned up. We're getting closer and closer to firing it up. Here we go, boys. The stage is set. We got the Katana on the dyno. Now, it doesn't look quite the same as it did. We got all the bodywork off of it still because the ECU for this bike 
is under the gas tank. It sits right on top of the air box. So you basically just have to take your body work off, unbolt the gas tank, lift it up, unplug the ECU. Then if you like, you can mail it in to us, get an ECU flash. We will remove all the restrictions from your bike and get the air fuel ratio dialed in where it needs to be. Now restrictions, yeah, we're about to talk more about that here in just a second. But I wanted to fire the bike up, let you know what it sounds like, and see how this thing performs. Also, comment in the comments below, what do you think about the quality of today's video? This is my first time using my brand new GoPro 10. It is the GoPro 10 Creators Edition, so I got this fancy tripod with a battery built in. I got this really cool flashlight thing. <laughs> well, let me cut this off. <laughs> All right, there we go. Cool flashlight on the top and a better microphone on this thing. So let me know how do you like the sound quality? How do you like the video quality? I'm playing with the settings. If you're a GoPro expert, feel free to comment in the comments below and let me know what settings I should be on. I'm shooting in 5.3K, 24 frames per second for the vlog and stuff. before we flash and tune the ECU. Here we go, baseline pull. Keep an eye on the air fuel ratio over there on the screen. It's reading 18.4 now. That's as lean as the dyno will read. You will see this, this bike is gonna be pretty lean after all the modifications we've done, especially cruising around. When you let off the throttle, there's a real bad nose dive on these things in the factory. We're gonna correct all that today.
results are in, take a look at the gains we got right off the rip. We went from 142 horsepower to 151 horsepower with just our ECU flash. And that particular one was from what we had tested an M4 exhaust on a GSXS 1000. So I just kind of used those fuel and changes from that, removed all the restrictions from the ECU, and got that thing up a lot of power right off the rip. Now we're about to fine tune and dial in the fuel curve to that Brock's pentacarbon exhaust, but we talked about restrictions. Let's go in and let me show you what kind of restrictions I'm talking about. So you can see here, I've got a file opened up. If we go to other maps, you're gonna see STP openings. That stands for secondary throttle plates. We're gonna put the bike in fifth gear because that's the gear we dynoed it in. And you can see it goes 100% throttle. It's 7,600 RPMs. It's where it actually goes 100% throttle. But then you can see back here at 10,400 RPMs, the throttle actually reduces back to 84%. So even though you're wide open, the throttle's locked. Eh -eh. Not in real life, guys. The bike is cutting you back to 84%. And then you can see at 11,000, it cuts back to 72%. So you're losing almost 30% of your horsepower once you get to the high RPMs. And then you can see here, like at five and 6,000, you can see we're only at 62% of throttle right there. So let's take that into relation to what we got on our graph. We go here and we look at 6,200 RPMs. We are at 77 horsepower before the flash. And then after the flash, we're at 83 horsepower. So that's a huge, huge dip we just fixed by opening up those throttle plates like they're supposed to be and getting that bike to 100%. And then you can see here, at 7,700, we went from 105 to 114. That's almost 10 horsepower. Huge, huge gain, huge, huge seat of the pants feel that you're gonna feel every time you get on this motorcycle. Now, let's go back into the ECU and look at some of the other things we can do. We went in and raised the rev limiter up a little bit. We set it to 11,900, or, or uh, I'm sorry, 11,900 RPMs is where it redlines from the factory. We bump it up a little bit to about 12.5 because at 11.9, this thing is still really just getting woke up. It's starting to feel good there. We go in and lower the fan temps down to 195 degrees. That way you don't have crazy hot riding conditions when you're cruising around with this thing. We disable the stock O2 sensor so we don't want it. We disable the exhaust valve so there's no need to buy a servo buddy. We disable the decel fuel cut. Now you saw when I was doing the first runs, when I give it gas and let off, I was pointing at the forks. The forks, doo, 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 up, down, up, down. That's because when you let off the throttle, boom, that thing literally falls on its face. In other words, when you give it gas, it accelerates. When you let off, it nosedives. My head was backwards the first time. You, caught, you, you catch me on that. Anyways, we're going to get rid of that. We also disable the top speed limiter as well. So there's nothing holding this back, bike back on top speed. Anyways, I'm about to flash this ECU, correct some of the air fuel ratio again, see what kind of results and gains we can possibly get out of this thing. Here we go with what should be our final flash and final dyno runs. And let me know what do you think. Comment in the comments below. How do you like the sound of this Brock's performance exhaust system? I think it sounds great. Comment in the comments below, is it too loud for your preference? Now this customer no, chose no pops and bangs, okay? Now one thing I wanna point about that, out about that, we can make it do it or make it not do it, that's up to you. One thing that will eliminate the pops and bangs is the pair valve block off plug or plate. So if you've done that, don't expect to get the pops and bangs. But if you want to make your bike super, super smooth and don't want to hear the noise, you can do the pair valve block off plates and we can do the decel fuel cut option and you will have a super silky smooth bike, but no noise. Let me know in the comments below, is the noise for you or not for you?
Katana. We got CJ here from his channel, Cycletron. That's right. Chris, thanks very much. I can't wait to get this thing home and ride it. The, the tune sounds awesome. The Brox full exhaust pentacarbon sounds amazing. He did a great job, very thorough. I really appreciate it. So come check him out. He's close to 100,000 subs if you want to get him over the hump. Boy, he might be the one to do it. Tell him what else you got coming. Got a 2023 Hayabusa on order. So be checking out the channel. I'll be doing regular ride reviews and updates on that. As if having a new Katana modified up is not good enough reason to go check them out. Now he's got a new Busa on the way. You know how we are with the Busas here. We do tons of them. Maybe who knows, he'll be back from Kansas to South Carolina once again, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 100,000. Go and check out Cyclotron. He's at like 2,700 now. Let's bump him up to 3,000. Go ahead and go check out his channel. As always, guys, we appreciate you watching. If you have any more questions, hit us up, moremafia.com, and smash that like button. As always, guys, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.